Five unknown facts about female nature. How well do men understand women? Not enough, perhaps? Maybe we do know a lot. We'll find out soon. There's no better way to kick this one off than with a quote from the esteemed Robert A. Hyland. Women and cats will do as they please, and men and dogs should relax and get used to the idea. Women, as we can all agree, are bewilderingly complicated creatures. They have the power to move people to write poetry or to launch a war with nothing more than the flip of their wrists. But there are some unknown facts about female nature that will leave you shot. Want to know more? Stick around till the end and we can guarantee you'll enjoy the video. Hello and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about five unknown yet extremely interesting facts about women that will probably give you better insight into the female psyche. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the post notifications. So, without wasting any time, let's dive right into the video. As humans, women are different from men. Now, women can do so much is truly remarkable. They're astounding in appearance and strength. As long as they put their minds to it, nothing will be impossible for them. In order to provide a better future for subsequent generations of wonderful women, women have had to battle for a lot of things over the years in the face of injustice and unfairness. We're going to take a look at five mind-blowing facts about women today. We'll assume that these details are relevant to women everywhere, not simply those living in Asia or Europe. Some of these revelations are so shocking that they defy belief, while others serve only to reinforce preconceived notions. Now let's jump right into these facts. Number one, the average amount of time a woman can keep a secret is 47 hours and 15 minutes. Two days. Wines of Chile commission a research of 3,000 women aged 18 to 65, and the results show that 40% of these women were unable to maintain a secret. More than half of these surveyed said that a few glasses of wine may take the process that much simpler, no matter how intimate or damage-inducing the secret. The researcher also found that male partners, male friends, female best friends, and maternal figures were the most likely to be the first people to hear the news. We were particularly anxious to find out with this poll how many secret people are told, said Michael Cox, UK Director of Wines and Chile. We did not anticipate how rapidly these would be shared by our trusted friends and family. The public often has access to sensitive information despite its value. Within 48 hours, the topic will be open to the public. That means that every Brit who has told a friend a secret should be worried because they don't know where it's going. Every week, the typical lady hears three pieces of gossip and likely shares them with at least one other person. Only three out of ten women say they are completely trustworthy when it comes to keeping a secret, and two out of three say they feel awful after revealing a secret they were pressured to tell. Moreover, 40% of women think it's fine to tell an outsider a friend's secret, while nine out of ten females believe in their own trustworthiness. Mr. Cox says the fact that they dump gossip to someone wholly unrelated to the topic or any different social group might be soothing. Fortunately, 27% admitted the next day that they'd forgotten what they had been told the day before. Number two, women are better multitaskers than men. Two experiments were conducted by psychologists from the universities of Hertfordshire, Glasgow, and leads to investigate the hypothesis that women are inherently better at multitasking than men. The findings suggest that females are better than males in switching gears mid-task. Studies published in Psychology Today show that girls' neural pathways mature ahead of boys during formative years. This explains why research has shown that females, in comparison to males, reach mental and emotional maturity at a younger age. Color perception is enhanced by 20% in females compared to males. Females have the highest two IQs on record. As a result of having a larger brain, women tend to make better decisions than males. The research also indicated that women perform better at multitasking in real-world conditions. For example, a study published in BMC Psychology found that men and women did not differ significantly in solving simple arithmetic problems, searching for restaurants on a map, or answering general knowledge questions over the phone, but that women were significantly better at devising strategies for locating a lost key. The group, however, cautions against jumping to conclusions. In an interview with Live Science, psychology professor Arthur Markman said, there's a limited number of people who are competent multitaskers, the concept of a supertasker, but at best it's maybe 10% of the population. So chances are you're not one of them. There are a few people who are brilliant at it, and the research will tell you who they are, but it's probably not you. Number three, an average woman will own 111 handbags in her lifetime. The average 30-year-old woman has 21 handbags and buys a new one every three months, according to the study's authors. Buying 111 bags over the course of a lifetime might cost up to thousands of dollars. There were 1,500 women asked, and 5% of them said that they were more than 100 purses. On average, a bag will set you back $100, with designer bags costing far more. 
Often, women acquire a new handbag to suit a certain outfit and don't want to throw it away after just one use, so keep hold of it to use again someday, said Angela Poplett, a shopper at Lakeside Essex, who commissioned the survey. I like to name this handbag fixation Sienna Miller Syndrome, after Sienna Miller, Lindsay Lohan, and Nicole Ritchie, all of whom have followed in Maggie Thatcher's footsteps by showing an unhealthy obsession with handbags. Number four, women speak about 20,000 words a day. That's 13,000 more than the average man. According to the findings of a recent study that was carried out by researchers from the United States, the presence of large quantities of a certain protein in the brain may be a reason why women are chattier. FOXB2, sometimes referred to as a language protein, is responsible for women's tendency to talk more. Research conducted on rats in a laboratory revealed that the protein in question was more prevalent in the male rats than in female rats. According to researcher Margaret McCarthy, Based on our data, we believe higher levels of FOXB2 in girls and higher levels of FOXB2 in male rats is an indicator that FOXB2 protein levels are related with the more communicative sex. Citation needed. Are related with the more communicative sex. Previous research has demonstrated, among other things, that a fondness of idle chatter and idle chit-chat develops in girls at a substantially younger age than in males. Girls need to speak far more rapidly than boys do, and they utter their first words and sentences a great deal earlier. It has also been noticed that females at the same age have a vocabulary that is broader and tend to utilize a greater diversity of sentences than boys of the same age. Number five, shorter women have shorter pregnancies, a study found. A total of 3,500 mothers and their children in Finland, Denmark, and Norway were subjected to an investigation by a team of researchers led by Louis Maglia. According to the findings, mothers who were shorter also had shorter pregnancies. Preterm births were also more likely to occur in infants who were of a smaller size, according to Maglia. Our study reveals that it is the mother's height itself that is helping to define how long she'll be pregnant for. It's a factor to consider in the equation. It was estimated that around 0.4 days of gestation were added for every centimeter that was added to the mother's height. This may seem like a low number, but statistically speaking, its significance is unmatched. The goal of this study, which was presented in a report that was included in the journal PLOS Medicine, was to address the problem of premature delivery, which affects millions of newborns each year. At birth, there are around 100 females for every 105 boys all throughout the world, in Asia, North Africa. This ratio is more lopsided than in other regions. 70% of those living in absolute poverty, defined as having a daily income of less than $1, are women. So, which of these unknown facts about women nature is your favorite? Tell us in the comments. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you soon with the next video, and thank you so much for watching.